why don't you share again with our American physician colleagues the work that you've done as an organizing breast cancer in Hong Kong? Well, uh, in Hong Kong, physicians are busy looking after patients because of the rising number of cases that we have to deal with. Right. So it has become a burden for the surgeons or the oncologists to deal with the psychosocial issues of patients which are not uh, part of the cancer care in our cancer centers or in our departments. So that comes the foundation, the Breast Cancer Foundation of Hong Kong, which is a um, charitable organization um, focused on help helping breast cancer patients, um, which is like a part of the extended cancer care to patients, providing information support, accessory support, and also uh, psychosocial support to our patients, and also um, assistance in financial wise yeah. for our patients who will not have access to. Plus, I believe, from when I was there two years ago with you, didn't you also start the cancer, breast cancer cancer registry in Hong Kong? Definitely, because of the lack of local data, yeah. um, uh, we um, embark on setting up this Hong Kong breast cancer registry since 2007, and we started collecting cases in 2008, and so far we've collected over 8,000 cases from, 20, from 27 centers uh, among the um, different uh, localities in the territory. And uh, we are looking at a five-year uh, report next year, which will reach probably about 10,000 cases. It's going to be the largest uh, multi-center um, uh, database uh, of breast cancer in Hong Kong. Wow. And from that is a comprehensive data set of 300 variables, from patients' demographics to epidemiology, their health backgrounds, to the disease pattern and treatment trends. And we are also collecting true occurrences okay. and, and death rates uh, for our patients. Wow.